Welcome, Welcome to, to What's Watch. 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 I mean, I'm your host, host Ben Benji, obviously, obviously, because, you know, we all need a catchphrase. And the one and only, the one that's always usually there. That's producer Josh. 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 Hey, it's producer Josh in the house. How's it going? You know, I was like, expect you were like a little bit unwell earlier. Now you kind of don't sound it whatsoever. It kind of sounds like, you know, you're trying to pull that sicky because you don't want to go to school today. First one we're going to talk about today, this won't, this won't take long because um, Willis Meehan, we spoke about him last week um, and oh, he GKL. had his fight against James Singh. Yeah, yeah, it ended um, 50 seconds in the first round by TKO with Singh's corner throwing in the towel. That's 50 seconds into the first round as well. Yo, that's like, awesome. That's not long. That's not. I mean, that's his first fight in almost, uh, like almost a year. Um, but... Yeah, so good on uh, Willis Meehan. Uh, we're hoping to see him fight next. I did hear some conversations that maybe Willis Meehan versus Lucas Brown soon. That would be a great fight because um, Lucas Brown has that um, WBA title, so they could get Lucas Brown, it wasn't Lucas Brown, Willis Meehan into the ranks. So, and that's always the aim to get them into those rankings. So, yeah, is, is that a, the fastest win on his CV? Um, like, that is a good question. Fight, yeah, last fight was a one minute ten. One, so there's one minute two, 44 seconds against an Argentina knockout in 2019. Oh, okay. So it's so the maybe, second maybe. fastest. Yeah, the second fastest one. Okay, he's quite, he has quite a record. Eh? Like, look at the time on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. And like, the good thing is he's also had, um, he's went the full distance in eight rounds. So it actually proves that he actually got the ability to do that. So, so wait, like, so how many, yeah, so how many fights has he had uh, until now? Uh, well, including this one, so it's 12 yeah. fights, and he's only had to go 25 right. rounds in those 12 right. fights. Can you go to his dad's record? Let's just have a look at the first 12 from his dad. <laughs> Let's have a look and see who's better. Um, Golly, me in. Yeah, sorry, I had a, me- I had, had a moment. <laughs> had, I had a blonde moment. Had had a brain fart, an elderly moment. Um, da-da-da-da-da-da. Right, so there, 1, 12. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 12 so this one down um oh quite similar look at the chaos man yeah quite similar um and ways of quality opponents are quite similar as well so oh, apart from that one joe kiwi kingy this is random look this is randomly look into it like, who is this joe kingy um but and he also won the a couple of titles um in his first uh First 12 fights. So, yeah, see, see, quite so you can, similar. Yeah, you can see the family resemblance. And both fighting and, um, yeah. Yeah, it's head injury, you know? <laughs> yeah. 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 And, and when, did, when, yeah. when did Carly first lose? Like, in which fight? His first fight, uh, his first loss was uh, for the Commonwealth title against Danny Williams in 2001, which this is a big title that? to lose. That, that 2001 against Danny Williams. No, right no, but like, which number? Like, that was his 14th? Which one was that? That was his... Let's have a look. We can actually jump in to have a look. Where are we? So you know that was I mean? like, his like, twenty. Yeah, that was his twenty fourth fight. His twenty fourth. Okay, so now Will is me in around the twenty fourth one, and that's when he that's when he crumbles. He, he, yeah, <laughs> apparently there you go. history uh, but, repeats but, itself. But like, look at look at this. Um, like he goes on and he ends up um going for um WBO world title Kali Meehan, and you know he's had multiple world title opportunities, I believe. So. Da, da, wow. da. yeah so there we go um also another thing um so this is either tomorrow or tonight depending when this video comes out uh alex hannon defending his new south wales yeah new south wales middleweight state title and um yeah defending new south wales title that he actually captured quite a while ago how far back did he actually capture that title 2000 uh, yeah 2021 in january so he's defending it almost a year and a bit after he actually captured the title. So, yeah. Yeah, it'll be good so, to see uh, Alex back in. Keep him more active. Anyway, moving yeah, right along. Hands. We're going to have our first annou- announcement. Um, Hard Knox is returning. He's uh, They've got two professional vi- um, fights uh, on this card. Obviously, Evander Tier versus Thomas Russell and Jason Tuala. Tu- sorry, apologize for my mispronunciation jason tuala fighting um nick the green 
Greek char Olympus. And, you know, as you know, uh, Nick the Greek is very dangerous. Jason, is, I believe, is more of a brawler. Um, Van der Teer, good to see him fighting again. Um, <laughs> I think, I yeah, think there's it? a spelling mistake on the poster, though. The address they got on the spelling. This can't straight Mangare. Mangare. Shouldn't it be with a D? Let's have a look here. I have no idea. I have no idea. Yeah, um, why are none of my jokes landing on you, man? Yeah, well, I, I'm just because you're just not funny. <laughs> go back. Go back, go, go back on the no, poster, I've, man. No, I've already exited it. Um, Get it. So Discount. Let's this, 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 this look out um, at Evander Tier. The problem with, like, I'm always supportive of fighters, but the problem with uh, Evander Tier is that he hasn't actually taken a proper risk in his career yet. Um, you know, and I'm all for him. I'm wanting to see him progress, but at, I, like, he's had, let's see, six fights now, four wins, one loss, one draw, and he, he hasn't actually had a fighter that he's fought that actually matches his career. And saying that, though, there's a lot of boxers in New Zealand that, um, that does a very similar thing and fights very similar opponents to, you know, take that, um, just to bring up your win record, um, just to kind of, you know, name a few. Um, not, I'm not actually going to name them, but like, he's supposedly supposed to be in the cruiserweight division, but he keeps on missing weight and fighting the heavyweight division. But yeah, he should be fighting some guys who um, matches his record at least um this guy he's fought um he's actually quite a decent amateur fighter so that could be a, a good fight uh jesse mayo in the cruiserweight division if jesse wants to go into the cruiserweight division but i know he's more of a light giveaway anyways so but that would be a fight a lot of new zealand boxers have had similar um fight experiences i mean like look at one two three four five the first five fights in nick charlampus's career was actually quite simple fights and then chong ni which was, he was actually a decent fighter i remember um <clears throat> and then he started fighting better fighters aaron lay andrew robinson and then um you know what are, there's, what there's a lot of uh, points f- there? fighters um but yeah, um, uh, it's good to see Ch- Nick Charlumbus uh, return to the ring after he last fought, uh, what was it, Joshua Francis. My God, what's wrong with my um, thinking today? Like, I need to have another coffee. Actually, actually say the names properly and like, you know. So yeah, uh, Van der Teer versus Thomas Russell, Nicholas Charlumbus versus Jason Tuella. Tuella. Um, yeah, and uh, hopefully that fight would be actually quite decent. So, yeah. Yeah, next announcement. Um, Karen is coming, to, is coming back, or Karina, she's now actually going by. Uh, Karina's coming back. Uh, she's actually fighting in Melbourne. So, is it Melbourne? Oh, no, Queensland. At least. So now that the um, borders are open to Australia, so everyone's allowed to go in and out her um, return to the ring. Uh, she's going to Australia to go for the WBC Australasian title, which is actually good because she just came off a win. So, you know, it's um, great to actually see some New Zealanders going over to Australia to fight for this title. So Karina runs her own gym, eh? I'm pretty sure she runs her own boxing gym. Yeah, um, I'm not entirely sure, but probably. Um, you know, she used to be a Navy officer. So um, that's that actually right? something. Yeah, yeah, there's something okay. interesting about her. Um, you know, she, she's had quite a mixed record. Um, one win, one loss, one win, one loss, one loss. One loss. Um, so hopefully, oh, but it's a this good record, actually, though. It is a good record. Giante Lupe, Tanya Reed, Baby Nansen. Okay, all right. Yeah, well, she Solid won against record. um, t- uh, Tanya Reed. Um, and she um, used to hold the New Zealand title. Maybe she still does. I don't know how um, NCPBC still, uh, still work their title things um but yes uh she won her new zealand title so she actually does quite well for herself um get, going gets her opponent she's going against brooke cooper so brooke cooper um is a kickboxer and i think she actually fought an mma at one point um this is what her record looks like um i got a good tko win and has the um, a loss against um, Hobbs, who 
Uh, I think she actually went against. She fought for a world title at one point. Yeah, she fought for a world title at one point. So, oh, two world titles. There you go. Keep herself busy. Uh, defeated Baby Nansen herself. But we're not going to talk about her. We're talking about Brooke. Um, we I don't know much about her. She's had over forty fights, I believe, in kickboxing and MMA. So, you know, this could be a tough challenge for Karina. Yeah, she's a real psycho. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> yes 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 that's her that's her um nickname yes true psycho um but yeah that's an announcement uh, karina is fighting brooke cooper on march 25th in australia so now that the borders are open we can actually see a lot more um fights happening in australia like um david light andre mikhailovich um and any other oh junior far Hemia Hio, a lot more fights going overseas to australia yeah, that uh, th- this should be a good scrap. I mean, if you have a name like Psycho, I mean, it should be a toe-to-toe <laughs> scrap. Yes, yes. All right, last thing. Adrian Tai here is fighting oh. Joshua Tai. We actually spoke about this not too long ago. Um, so uh, it's actually great. This is actually more of an Adrian Tai uh, Taiha show than I believe than a Craig Thompson show, but uh, maybe it's co-promoting. Um, this is the aim is that Adrian Taiha is fighting Joshua Tai for the New Zealand Tai show. Oh, and uh, the great thing is uh, I've seen videos online of Adrian Taiha training with uh, John Conway again, which was one of um, his earlier trainers, and that's when Adrian Taiha won the regional title, won the New Zealand title. So he's going back to his um, original trainer, like, or maybe his original title. I don't know who his original trainer is, but he's going back to his roots per se. And I, so yeah, it's actually great, great to see. I think I know the outcome of this fight. Not necessarily. Remember, Josh Taiha is actually still a great fighter. Yes, he's had a lot of losses, but he's hey, actually still You haven't heard decent. what I had to say yet. You don't know which way I'm leaning. Well, cool. okay, go ahead. I think it's going to be a tie. Oh, stop it, you. Stop it. <laughs> um, also on the, on the card. Hey, um, hey, and what's the what's the title? Oh, stop. <laughs> it, you know, put in some sound effects. A boo in it. Um, on the undercard, Conrad Lamb is returning since, I think, when I did my show. Was it 2019? Was it oh, 2019? Yeah. You mean with... Um... With yeah, yeah some, that's the one. Yeah, on, on my show, um, which we did a thing earlier. So yeah, Conrad Lamb versus um Sam Pulu. I th- when was the last time Sam fought? I don't know much about Sam. Yeah. Oh yes, that's right. Sam actually his um, face looks fought. familiar, eh? Yeah, his unknown face. Um, but yeah, so he, he hasn't fought since 2017. So you never know what what that could ha- uh, what might happen. I did see that Conrad Lamb has lost a lot of weight, so. It's going to be interesting to see Conrad Lamb back in the ring, see how his weight change affects him. And he's going to be fighting Sam Pulu. And also uh, David T- um, Tui- Tupo versus Ben Lima. I don't know much about Ben Lima either. Um, da, 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 da. He fought Jacob Martin down and put... Oh, is that where I think... Did I... Was I there? No. Yes. No. No, no, I wasn't there this time. Oh, that's right. So Jacob Martin, he fought. And Jacob Martin's under Nigel um, Elliott. And yeah, so Ben Lima is a um, big guy, I believe. He's quite a big guy, for, um, decent puncher. Be interesting to see how that comes out. But yeah, um, the main event, Adrian Tai here um, fighting for the New Zealand title. This could be his last opportunity for the New Zealand title. I am a big um, Adrian Tai here fi- fan um, ever since he first came um, made his pro debut, and yeah, I'm just looking forward for him to fight. Yeah, yeah, he's um, you know, he's always been in some exciting fights. You know, uh, I remember the one with Robert Barrage, and I especially remember the one with Andre Mikalovich on the Joseph Parker undercard where he almost went down. Uh, where he went down, actually. Uh, yeah, but he, yeah, you know, he fought till the end. I mean, this guy's got a yeah, he's a great fighter. I mean, like, if you go, he started off in 2008 in his pro career. He fought in the Australian Contender Series, if you remember the Contender Series. Um, then uh, he won the super middleweight title against Gunnar Jackson, which originally was a draw. Uh, you know, uh, fought um, and won the interim WBA PABA light heavyweight title. That fight was actually originally supposed to be against uh, Robert Berridge, but Robert Berridge got injured. 
um, went on to um, uh, fight some more and uh, ca- um, took a bit of a break, came back. And yeah, so I'm looking forward Wait, to seeing him oh, fight. I didn't know he fought Mose. That was, oh, that was back in 2017. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I was there, and that was one hell of a fight. It was a dangerous fight, but it was one hell of a fight. I was judging that night as well. Yeah, so, so yeah, and that, that's it. That's it. That's it for today. I think we did this quite quickly. Well, you'll be surprised. Probably 40 minutes long. You know, once I start talking, I can't stop, you know. I, I'm, I just got the gift of the gab. All right, so we've got some exciting things happening. We've got some new announcements happening. Uh, more fighters are going overseas to fight Australians, like Karen. Oh, Karina, I should say. Um, yeah, I'm f- excited to see uh, more happening. That's a wrap. That's, That's a bad a, wrap. That's a glad wrap. God's sake. That-